In order to assist with bushfire recovery in the cathedral ranges, Berry Street invited the Festival for Healthy Living team in to set up a project. Now that project has become known locally as Cartwheels. Art is a way that people can process their trauma and actually achieve healing. That's become clear from seeing the results of many public outcomes where students have been putting on performances and in a very positive way expressing joy and a personal sense of recovery. Some of these art forms lend themselves towards a very direct dealing with emotional issues, whereas others, for example circus skills, maybe learning to spin a plate or walk on stilts might be an opportunity to develop a skill and really have to exercise persistence and practice positive self-talk. So you're coaching yourself and you learn that you can actually do something that you've never been able to do before. And then of course a lot of these activities are all about teamwork and encouraging cooperation as well as persistence, as well as listening, as well as being able to understand and share ideas with other people. One example of where emotional issues were explored quite directly was at Buxton Primary School where we did a bit of work with puppetry at one point and asked the kids to develop a puppet character and a journey, an emotional journey for that character where they would go through some very difficult times and face some real challenges but come out all right in the end. Do they get upset in the cage? Yeah. They do? What do they do when they get upset? They kick the door away. Ooh, that's oh. interesting. Okay, <laughs> what else do you want to do with it? And then the kids explored that journey in their own way in all sorts of art forms and came up with stories that were metaphors for their experience, naturally, of having been through the Black Saturday bushfires. Hey, there's just beautiful colours here, mate. What happens when the sky goes red? The pictures come. I think the Festival of Healthy Living model assisted particularly in this process by bringing the concept of artists and health professionals and teachers all working together so that we actually were able to pay very particular attention to at all times working in a health promoting way. We never actually specifically asked the kids to write something or draw something about their bushfire experience because we are advised by health professionals that this may not be a health promoting thing to do. Okay, so, so there's a line that comes back yeah, like again and again. Yeah. That whole oh, bit there, oh, I reckon we go down to the chorus. It's a lovely fresh air and stars. What other puppets get together? So instead, by providing an imaginative creative space where we guided them, towards uh, expression, naturally their emotions were portrayed. The pictures are coming. The sky's getting red, so that fluff ball's going into the fluff ball cafe. Uh, the um, cafe broke and they ran to the fluff ball, the fluff ball trees. Um, pictures are coming closer. There's yeah. hundreds of pictures in space. Like no blue left. That is when they go into the forest of Fluff ball trees. Those fluff ball it's trees fun. can fit most of the fluff balls in them. That's the heart of the forest. Emergency tree. Everything it you need is inside the tree. Living in this tree, there is an owl. He kills the bitches and saves the fluff balls. They fix the boss and they sail back to their land. Because the island was ruined and broken and wrecked. We're not totally focused on trauma, there's a real positive opportunity for celebration and for celebrating the good things in, in a community. And for individuals, that's very important, but also for a community have an opportunity to come together with a, a very exciting artistic celebratory event. It's been very positive for different communities all over Cathedral Range.
had a fantastic year in 2010, working town by town and school by school. And now there's the opportunity and the desire to connect up as a larger community of people who were all affected by the bushfires two years ago. I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to keep working in the Cathedral Ranges and see those further connections being made so that people are able to express a sense of survival and a sense of celebration that we're here and we can enjoy living in this place together. Thank you. 